In February 2013, the Metal Gear fandom was drenched in the blood of digital enemies, as Metal Gear Rising Revengeance hit store shelves. You played as Love Him or Hate Him lead Raiden, an augmented cyborg ninja who possessed the ability to make you feel like an instant badass. Now though, Platinum Games has come out with its first installment of DLC, but does this small bite-sized side story give you a stream of chunky pleasure? Or a slice of pain on your purchase history? Okay. Let's dance. With Raiden's lop and chop journey close of a nicely wrapped but shredded bow, it seemed kind of hard for Platinum Games to go back and continue with its depiction of the girly boy turned cyborg hero. Platinum comes through for us though, and realises the potential of its supporting cast, and we are now treated to the fall of Metal Gear Rising's coolest villain, Jetstream Sam. In this just over one hour mini quest, you will see Sam journey through the criminal underbelly of terrorist group Desperado. Just as Raiden did, Sam will come across a number of Rising's main characters, and ultimately see how our DLC protagonist became one of Metal Gear's most awesome anti-heroes. <laughs> Funnily enough, while the expansion is indeed short, it gives us a more in-depth look at what was going on behind the scenes of Rising's antagonist side. If you've just completed Revengeance, then Jetstream Sam DLC will actually serve as a very satisfying dessert to your original main course, not only through additional excellently crafted cutscenes, but also through brand new gameplay features. <laughs> Initially beginning your vigilante quest as the lone samurai, you'll actually come to realise that Sam plays completely different to the white-haired cyborg. While Sam and Raiden share common abilities like being able to block, deflect and turn their enemies into a pile of flesh salad, Sam actually comes with a bag of skills that in a way make him stand out over our original hero. For instance, while Raiden can backstep to dodge incoming assaults from foes, Sam actually is able to side evade and cartwheel to safety. Not only that, but unlike Raiden, Sam is all about dishing out a well-timed strike instead of flailing at your foe like a piñata made of mints. Sam's gameplay mechanics ultimately come with a completely fresh way to taking on Rising's platter of meat puppets. Now instead of mashing a number of combos through the square and triangle buttons, you'll have your triangle attack change from an AoE effective stance to a charged heavy damage dealing blow. As brief, Sam is all about finding an opening and completely destroying your enemy. What makes Sam more accessible than Raiden though, is that thanks to his new dodge attributes, you'll not have to throw the pad in anger when trying to utilise the cumbersome camera angles and its attack block parry system. This actually makes Sam a much more fun and fluid character to take control of, and from start to finish, you'll actually feel a stronger sense of accomplishment from Rising's already fantastic combat. Those wanting every ounce of aggression from their enemies can also use Sam's exclusive taunt ability to provoke a more deadly and violent soul from within your potential victim. How did you? You fight because you're forced to. I fight because I choose to. Sam's journey to villainry will also come with some pretty addictive additional VR missions that will allow even the most dedicated fans to find some more reasons to visit this tasty distraction for years to come. Seriously, they're, they're, they're pretty challenging. No piece of additional content is without critique though, and sadly when slicing through Sam's story, you'll sadly be trudging through a number of recycled environments that we already visited in Raiden's own adventure. Will this sour the experience though? Not a chance! as Sam's fresh refinement to Rising's combat will already have you distracted from the portfolio of Metal Gear's muddy backgrounds. If you're wanting a fun yet affordable extra piece to your Rising product puzzle, then give Jetstream Sam a shot. Sure it might be just over an hour long, but as the saying goes, it's quality over quantity. Proxy Playthroughs gives this DLC a creamy and moist gold muffin, but what about you minions? What do you think to the Jetstream Sam DLC? Proxy would love to know, but until next time, ciao.